Hello and welcome to Logos Tips and Tricks with David. Today I'd like to talk to you about collections. Collections are one of the automated features in Logos that really make having Logos as opposed to having books uh, in either regular ebook or physical format so much easier to use and so much easier to work with. Uh, so within Logos, what a collection basically is, is as you can see on my screen, you can either create a rule uh, and this can be as simple as complex as you want. Uh, if you make a rule, any book that matches that rule will automatically be added to the collection. Uh, the other two ways you can make a collection is by adding resources or other collections manually to the plus these resources or to the minus these resources. And those are, should be self-explanatory. Uh, if you add a collection to the plus these resources, then all the books in that collection will automatically be added to that uh, to this new collection. Uh, if you add a collection or a specific resource to the minus these resources, then it's automatically removed from the collection that you're working with. This video is based on a note that I had created earlier. Uh, it's a pro tip I created in my uh, shared DW.ca Logos Tips and Tricks notebook. Uh, the idea that I present is using four core collections in order to organize your library. Uh, now, these four core collections, uh, what they're designed to do is help you see what you have already identified and what you haven't already identified. So the idea behind them is not to use them as your primary go-to, but rather to use them as an easy way to manage what you have so that the other collections you make and the other uh, means in which you divide up your library and organize it uh, you can tell how you're doing that. Uh, you can tell what's been done, what hasn't been done, and what you need to work on. Now, the first thing I want to recommend, uh, as you can see by the uh, names that I have in my note, I call them Library Cloud Only, Library Downloaded, Library Known, and Library Unknown. So I'm using this naming convention uh, so that they all show up in the exact same place. Now, as you can see on my own collection, I have them starting with dw.ca colon, and the reason I did that is because uh, some of these I'm actually sharing into either groups or, or the public uh, on the shared documents within Logos uh, so that other people can get them. Um, so, But for your own copy, I would recommend picking a naming convention uh, so that when you go look at all of your collections, because if you do a solid job of making your collections, especially if you have several thousand resources in your library and you need many, uh, it's good to have that naming convention set uh, so that you can see easily, okay, these are all of the collections that I have made for this purpose, and these are the collections I have made for this purpose. And now you're not trying to hunt and find, okay, now what what did I call it? Uh, or, you know, it, they're alphabetic, alphabetically sorted, but it's still easier if you have a naming convention for that. So the first collection that I'm actually going to introduce you to is the cloud-only collection. Now, to be clear, as of Logos 8, collections only work with resources that have been downloaded to your computer. So technically, this collection doesn't do anything yet. However, it's a very useful placeholder. I'm hoping whenever Logos 9 comes out, that collections will be opened up to work with all of the resources you have, not just what's downloaded. Uh, at some point, what I'm hoping is that this collection will be used uh, so that you can remove things from your computer if you don't have that much space on your computer, you don't have enough space, or just things that you really, you know you're not going to look at and they just came free with the package that you got. Uh, and all of them you can find here. And then you can use this for sorting or searching for uh, other things. Uh, for example, if you want to see if you have anything that you don't have downloaded, you want to take a look at it. Uh, so let me go on ahead and show you. Uh, so like I said, the collection doesn't do anything uh, currently. The rule that it runs off of does work. And that rule is title, is all of this in parentheses, uh, title colon splat. And the splat means any character. So anything that has a title is going to show up here, which means absolutely everything. Uh, and not uh, curly brace collection quotation dw.ca library downloaded uh, that collection name uh, quotation close curly brace close parentheses. And so this shows that as of right now, I have uh, 2000 resources that I have not downloaded. Uh, if we go down and scroll down, most of them are the Perseus collection. Uh, I just know I'm not going to read those anytime soon. So when I do need to look them up, I can, but I don't need them on my computer all the time. Um, in particular, if we go down to language, 
Uh, you can see that over half of them are in Greek, Latin, uh, Aramaic, Spanish. I don't read those languages fluently at the moment, so I just figure I don't need them downloaded right now. You can decide what you need to with your library. Um, if there's things that you just you know you're not going to get to, it may be useful to keep them online. They're still in your library overall, but they're not you know messing with the index and you know making the index that much larger. Uh, so that's what this shows. But you can use this filter. You can't use it in collection, but you can use it in search. Uh, if we remove the title splat. Let's go on ahead and do a sample example. Uh, tag apologetics. Here we can see all of the apologetics resources that I own that I haven't downloaded. Uh, and let's go on ahead and take a look. So these are the two that I have uh, that I haven't downloaded. Uh, Just a Martyr's Dialogue with Trifo and uh, Orthodox by Chesterton on audio. Uh, I don't listen to audiobooks via Logos on the computer. Uh, and Justin Martyr's uh, dialogue is in Greek. Don't read Greek, so I don't need those downloaded. Uh, so they're available. I can use them at any time. I can download them at any time, but I don't need to see them. Uh, so like I said, this filter is still useful, but within collections, it's not uh, functional yet. I hope with future Logos uh, editions, it will become functional. But it is effective within this grouping. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. So here's library downloaded, and this one uses the same splat, just title colon splat, and this shows everything that's downloaded. As you can see right now, I have five and a half thousand resources downloaded. And yes, that is pretty, uh, pretty intimidating to figure out how to work through and figure out, okay, if I'm looking for a particular thing, where do I go? What should I look into? But this is a very simple collection. Uh, so let's go on ahead and go to the next uh, collection that I recommend. Uh, and this is, I'm actually going to skip library known for a minute. I'm going to go to library unknown. So this is, again, a very simple one, not quite as simple. Um, but what this is, is it consists of everything that's in library downloaded, that collection, minus everything that's in library known. And the way I did this is you just open up the drop dropdown uh, and you go on ahead and uh, click and drag the collection you want into the area you want, and then that's done. Uh, so what this means is out of the five and a half thousand that I have downloaded, I have three and a half thousand that I, ha uh, that I have not yet cataloged or grouped in some way uh, in a meaningful way. Now, as you've been seeing, I do have collections for commentaries and different things. Um, I haven't added those into the known yet, uh, partly because even with those collections, I still kind of want to manually go through what I have first. Um, there's some particular tags that I'll be showing you in a minute. But so everything, if you do create a collection that is just commentaries, you can create that. And then let's go ahead and go over to library known. And within library known, you just drag that down here. Um, for instance, I can go on ahead and uh, let's do commentaries one volume. I can just drag this down here and then boom, that's been added. Uh, and so that uh, automatically updates this and because they're fed together, it automatically updates library unknown as well. Uh, and that's the beauty of this system is that they feed each other. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that because like I said, I wanna take a look through that first and see what's in there. Um, but these are some of the collections that I have made that I'm more comfortable with. Uh, and that's exactly what library known is, is I've made other collections um, that filter certain things out and I went on ahead and added them. And that's what this, that's what's in here. And so this is everything that I positively know. Library unknown is everything that I don't know yet, and I can work on filtering that out. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these other collections that I have. Now these other collections, they're just mine. Some of them I might end up sharing, but realistically they're personal collections based on my interests, and I don't recommend you copying them f just for the sake of copying them. What I would recommend is you create your own and you get familiar with okay, if I add this option in, then this is what happens to the collection. And if I take this option out, then this is what happens. Um, because my interests are probably gonna be a little different from yours. Uh, the types of things I'm looking for are probably gonna be different from yours. Uh, but let me go on ahead and show you some of mine uh, so that you have an idea of what uh, I'm talking about. Uh, so for instance, I have an African studies one. I have a particular interest in reading texts that are from Africa or specifically about Africa. And so I have, this is currently a very simple one. 
uh, title colon Africa or subject Africa or tag Africa. Uh, so anything that's there will show up here. Um, I'm going to be expanding it as I go through the rest of my library. I'm going to be expanding it. Uh, I'm sure I have, uh, for instance, some authors that are from Africa that don't have Africa somewhere in the tag subject or title. Um, so I'm sure I have more than that in here. But that's one of the uh, collections that I have uh, that feeds the library known. Uh, another one I have that I do recommend, I very much recommend you make your own on. Uh, this is uh, Favorite Authors. I have it shortened to Fav Authors. Uh, and all this is is just a list of author names that uh, I have a particular affinity for. Uh, or their books I find I, I particularly want to read what they've written. Uh, and so I can just keep adding names here. Uh, just a comma and then the next name and comma and the next name. Uh, as you can see, there's some that I have in quotations. And that's because, uh, for instance, Crane is a fairly common last name as opposed to Geisler or Spurgeon. And so I have quotation Natasha Crane. Um, Fee, the name itself isn't that common, but it's part of other names. And so I have him marked off. Uh, so like I said, these are some of my favorite authors uh, that, like I said, I particularly want to read. So I have a number of collections that uh, do different things like that. Uh, I have ones called Apologetics, and it's literally just tag Apologetics. Uh, I will probably add in title Apologetics and a couple other things as I go through my library unknown and see what's in there and see what else needs to be filtered. Uh, but again, the benefit is uh, I can go on ahead and do that really easily. So for example, let's go ahead and pull up our library and let's go ahead and see uh, collect, uh, collection. Let me get this typed right. Apologetics. Okay, so here's my library of apologetics. It's 287 results uh, that's in that collection. Uh, now let's do, uh, let's just do this word apologetics and not collection apologetics. So this finds everything that has apologetics somewhere in it, but it's not actually in a tag. Uh, so this is uh, here. We have talking with your kids about God. I actually, I know this is an apologetics book. But for some reason, it only has the parenting tag, and I haven't added apologetics to it manually. Uh, so let me go on ahead and add apologetics to it. Now, it'll take a minute to update in my library, but once it's updated, it'll go on ahead and be added to this collection automatically, and then automatically removed from the library unknown collection. So like I said, again, I've, I've worked with a few other systems for managing books, and almost always you have to manually go book by book by book, every single book, even when you do collections or groups or shelves or whatever they call it, you have to manually add this book into that collection or group or shelf or whatever they call it. And you have to go one by one by one by one. And with collections, it's automated. You could manually add books one by one. Uh, I don't recommend it. That just seems very tedious to me. But Instead, you can just go through and, okay, let's add tags, and the books automatically get sorted. Another benefit is, as I add more resources to my library, as I buy more books, any other books that I, ha that I get, as soon as they're downloaded, if they have these tags that match, they're automatically added here. So I really don't have to update this collection. It's automatically updated. All I have to do is keep an eye out for the library unknown collection, see, hey, is there anything else in there that I need to... Uh, clarify in some ways or anything else in there that I need to add a tag to uh, or that I need to uh, maybe a whole nother series of books that I need to add a group to. Uh, so this is, like I said, it's automated. That's the power of this. Now, having walked through some collections that are already made, let me go on ahead and show you how to make a collection overall. Uh, so first of all, let me make sure I don't have the collection that I'm uh, thinking of making, and that's going to be parenting. Uh, and I don't have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click new. And it is literally as simple as that. I now have a brand new collection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it parenting. And I'm going to do tag parenting. And done. I have 30 resources in my library that are on parenting that are downloaded. Now let's go on ahead and add it to the other library. Uh, so just to review... Currently, uh, 
in library unknown we have 3749 resources let's pay attention to that number and see if we can reduce it by a couple uh, so 3749 let's go ahead and go to known and then we're going to go to parenting and we're going to drag and drop that in the collection and this was okay so this went up by 30 went up from 1854 to 1881 and instead of 3749 let's go over to unknown and 3722 so it took uh, 27 books out of library unknown and added them to library known that's a drop in the bucket in 3,000, but every drop counts. And again, I add more books to my library, automatically updated as long as they have that tag. If I find books that don't have that tag, I can go on ahead and add it and they'll get automatically updated. Now, I wrote the instructions down, this note that I have in the shared notebook. I wrote them down a while ago and I've since learned some new things about Logos. Uh, so if you catch it before I clean up the notes, uh, they still work but there's a couple easier ways to do things uh, or just watch this video again um, so if you have any questions please let us know um, in particular reach out to us on the faith life group uh, or reach out to us on logos tips and tricks in the facebook group uh, we're available both in either location uh, i also have a shared notebook for feedback if you have any questions you want to ask me thank you for watching this video if you like this content please go on ahead and hit like Please go on ahead and subscribe to this channel, and please check us out on faithlife.com, our Brave Daily group. You can see the link down in the description. Happy studying, and have a great week.